two horns and next to her is the, the animal that is. Um, and then this is another one of the double. So you can see they're just cows. This cow here is a, is a Hereford, so that's a horn Hereford and you can see the horns coming through in that red the red cow with the white face. Dairy cows like Holsteins grow horns and they're quite dangerous for human workers and also for their fellow cows um, and so they're normally manually removed. So there are some horn Hereford horns out there that say. Yeah. <laughs> so getting that allele to kind of switch in there is, is the hard part. So I'm wearing my lab coat as I always do. It's kind of a pair of molecular scissors, if you will, that you can tell to go and cut the DNA at a very precise location in the genome. And what that enables you to do is go in and um, very precisely alter one particular gene of the thousands of genes that make up the genome. Um, and you can introduce useful genetic variations. don't know which of these has been edited or not. That machinery then edits the DNA and the nucleus in, in cells inside here. You know, a lot of the uh, consumer resistance uh, to accepting GMO technology is that we're moving foreign genes from, from other organisms. What we're doing is changing the sequence of, of the DNA in the plant, the natural sequence itself. Well, you can see the size. Yeah. Size is a big issue. In it. Uh, they were telling me down in LaBelle, I guess they, they did prop up some of the trees, but they said some of them are still... A lot of fruit drop already. Yeah, I can see the fruits already coming down. And, and, and uh, Mount Hood? Uh, no, Mount Adams. The other oh, Mount Adams. Yeah. You see very small leaves, not much fruit. The fruit that is here is very small. Another uh, typical symptom, I think you can see that this, this is asymmetric. This side of the fruit is, is much smaller than, than this side. They were, they were um, larger than a lot of the fruit trees in California. For Florida, it has cut our production from about 240 million boxes 
maybe 15 to 18 years ago, down to 45 million boxes in the last season. Old GMOs, or first generation as I like to call it, you would put a gene in and it would land anywhere in the chromosome. Whereas gene editing is kind of like editing a sentence or a word, where you're very precisely going in there and making edits in specific locations. But we care about these off-target uh, additions or deletions because they can lead to certain upregulation of toxins or the downregulation of nutrients in plants, for example, and that could lead to some human health concerns. Thank you.